So the coin hunting here, I got in front of y'all 10 rows of quarters. Uh, we're going to hunt these. Looking for errors or varieties. Silver, if I'm lucky. Um, this is all customer wrap. So I doubt I'm going to get silver, but you just never know what you're going to find in these customer wrap rolls. Hopefully no, uh, move some stuff out the way. Maybe get a quarter hunt mat from Couch Collectibles. I guess. Usually I go to the car wash and do $20. I figure why not? Let's do 10 rolls today. Uh, I got a final nickel box wrap up to do. But I did find a 2009... Denver nickel. So that's why it's in the split. It's about the fifth or sixth one that I found since I started the YouTube channel. I'd like to once again thank all to all to new subscribers. I know y'all like the shorts, but this can be as fast as possible. I'll be scoping coins. So what I'm going to do is pause this. Flip it up. I'm not going to. I may go through the eagle backs here and there, looking for varieties and errors. I doubt it. I'm looking for stuff on the state quarters, the women's quarters. I mean, that's state, uh, in the state park court, in the park quarters, what we're looking for. Maybe you get lucky, maybe get a W, maybe get a proof. Who knows? So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to flip the camera up so y'all can see the screen over there. As I start scoping these coins, be right back. Okay, I'm going to get this glare out y'all's eyes so y'all can see. So we're going to start off with one. Let me get a bucket to put these quarters in. Now I got one right. One right here. I can put them in as I go through them. Actually, I'm probably going to separate them. Because I got some other albums to fill. Some for my mainland, some for chocolate culture. I do not have any of those at all. So, I'm going to start with New York. Looking for dye chips. Denver. Doubt it. Here we go. Here's one of the new women quarters. There's a new variety. There's doubling of the hair. Don't see that there. This is going to be a Denver. It's a national park quarter. worse for wear. It looks still in decent shape. Philadelphia. Looking for some doubling in there. Now I have an obsession to find the broken branch which is a big die chip that occurs here but this is not it. And this affiliate is the right coin. It's the right mint mark. And I've yet to find one. So, this is a decent ego back. Details on the arrows are pretty much. i yeah, put this in a, an XF45 for 1997 Denver. Ellis Island. Let's see what mint mark we got before we go looking for the varieties on here. No die chip there. Mm. That could be just worn down. Oh, we got a die chip on the hat. 
and I'll point it out to y'all. It's right there. Let's take those on a separate stack. The Wyoming State Quarter. It's supposed to be some doubling alone the saddle horn, but I had never seen it. I do not like this design. I think it's just flat. They, I think they could have done better on that coin. Now, the In God We Trust looks a little thick. I will back check these later. Eleanor Roosevelt. Denver. Minnesota. I seen one with a die chip right through these water waves. I've yet to find one myself. Saw that one a long time ago. River runs through Philadelphia. For dye chips in the trees, they call them bird's nest. And on this quarter, why well, I found one one time. Nothing on the boat. Ah, Warner Pacific. Philly. I don't think there's any errors on here. It's possible you could find some die chips on some of this stuff. But I have yet to find any. But I think there's going to be any that's going to be on those trees right there. Or on this dude. Ah. Another nemesis of mine to find a double die, and this is not going to be it because this is a Denver Minute coin. Pictured Rocks 2018. I did find a double die of this. It is a Philly Minute coin, but this is a Denver. So, no luck there. Let me call to find another one. Here we got Nevada. I'm going to do these kind of fast. I'm just looking for die chips. And this is not going to be one. Salt River Bay, Denver. I have to find any errors on this coin for Denver. Several for the Philly. Either the Kanaka Ole, there is a die clash. Die chips in the lettering, do not see that. Nothing on the hill. No DDO. It's close, but not quite. Here you go back. Here you go back. I did the back later. I'm not going to look for them. Got enough to look for in these other coins. Here we go. Iowa. Where's that? Uh, yeah, Iowa. Look at some post mint damage on the U and foundation. Nothing on that one. Huh? I 
Ah, uh, we got a foreign coin. I do not recognize this, or is this a token? This is a token. This is a token, and there are some tokens that are collectibles. So we got a token on the board. Okay, nothing doubling there, no die chip there. Philly minted. No die clashing, no die chips. Aha. Let's see what mint mark this is. P. Let's see if we see any die chips, die cracks. Um, Mount Rushmore. Nothing. Another Brock Island. This is a nice shape than the previous one. Looking for doubling it along the wings. Do not see it. The die chip on the building. This is Denver Minted. Another Harper's Ferry. Uh, it's a nice looking one. A little die chip right here. Or that may be a handle. I don't remember. And the May Wong. No die chip there. Or in other words. Looking for doubling. Oh, this is Denver. I doubt it. Did not see doubling in the guy in the words in God we trust. That is a location for doubling is in Nabato. Mississippi. Which way is up? Oh, no, it's Blue Ridge Parkway. <laughs> Somebody said there's some extra rocks. I have yet to find any extra die chips on these. Denver Minted. Another pictured rocks. Denver, Kentucky, and we're also looking for cuds, die cracks, so we're already short a quarter with the t game token. No clash there. You have to find a DDR on this one. Nope. DDO. Okay. That's Eco Backs. I'll look to those later. Somebody says die chips on the sailboat for, for well, on the big boat for Virginia. I have yet to find die chips. I keep looking. I've been looking at that for a long time. That was a long time ago when these quarters first came out. I've been looking for that since then. New York. My home, my state of Louisiana, part of the Western Journey series. Now that could be something right 
here. Could be machine doubling. I don't know. Okay, the end looks a little bit thick. To compare that to other quarters. So I'm gonna put that one off to the side to research that one. But if I suggest, if I think something's gonna be like that, ah, Kasashi National Forest. No, it's too dirty to find anything. That is a pheasant. See them in that forest. It's the only national park we have in the state. Another Blue Ridge Parkway. Now this I can compare it to the other one, and maybe okay, this is Philly. Still looking for the burning building on this one. This is not it. To see the airmen. Denver. Of course. That's one down, nine to go. That took 16 minutes. I think I'm going to do, so you, now you all see what I'm doing. I'm going to pause it, but find something. I will turn the video back on and record it. So I just want to show you how I hunt quarters. I scope every coin except for eagle back to do those later. So bring y'all back in if I find anything. Okay, we've got a Salt River Bay men in Philly, and we have a slight die chip here on top of the leaf. And then on this end. We have the beginning of another die chip starting to occur here. So it's an early stage die chip. And I don't see anything else. So I'll bring y'all back in on the next find. Okay, this is not a find. What I'm showing y'all is the early stage of die wear. You see the die flow lines running towards the center. Those are dies starting to wear out. This is a, a Lyle 20, what was it, 2020, I think it was. 2019, this is a Philadelphia Man. You can see the die flow lines all the way around the devices. There's a 2019. It's dirty, don't see nothing else on here. Just want to show y'all that. I see no die chips in the bell tower or in her hair. I just want to show y'all that, what die flu lines look like. Bring y'all back in. Oh, I did get a bicentennial quarter in this roll three. It is a Denver. Did not see no doubling in any of the letters. Bring y'all in on the next fine. I just want to show y'all this course in 1985. First, I thought I had a lamination there, but it's not. What you're seeing is a dirt line going all the way across that core. Now, it's possible there could be some type of indentation to collect the dirt right there that was on the planchet. Uh, but I mean, I'll take a let's see something here. I know you're not supposed to clean quarters or coins, but sometimes you have to. So it's coming off. This could be a pop. See how it's coming off? It's possible this could be some type of early stage of lamination. It just hasn't shown through. Or it could be the beginning of a huge cud. But it's so old you can't tell because it just got dirt. I'm gonna send it off. To, I'm gonna get, send some photos to somebody, and they can let me know for sure. But you gotta be very careful when you look for lamination errors. This is not one. So I'll bring y'all back in. Okay, Alaska's 
uh, the grizzly bear, we found the one with the extra claw. <laughs> it's kind of messy, but I kind of cleaned up a little bit. I really shouldn't do that, but I did it. It's got to see the claw doing this. Well, this one's coming. It kind of forms a bigger die break. Sometimes they just come straight up, but this one's curving back in on top of itself. So we got a extra claw variety. Bring y'all back in on the next one. Okay. <laughs> After over a year of searching, I finally found my first. This is the Homestead Double Die. This is uh, DDR104. I finally found my first one. Got double in here and here. And I'm going to show you on Variety Vista. He's a little worn down. Think about it, this coin was 2015. I wish I could zoom in tighter. So you got the pain here and the pump handle going across here. You so said this is kind of worn down. So here's the pain, and there's a pump handle. I finally found my first one. I've been looking a long time to a lot of quarters to find this. So we got 0104. I'll do a short on that and post that one. <laughs> I'm going to bring y'all back in on the next find. Unless I find a W on this one. Nope, this is Philly. Now this one, you can't find some stuff on here. Looking for the known die chips. Uh, I don't see any. I'm zooming in pretty tight. I'll bring y'all back in on the next find. Okay, this is a uh, River No Return. I found one tiny die chip. Nothing ready to keep. I just want to show y'all. You can't find die chips on in these trees. You just got to know where to look at. How to look for them. It just pops right out sometimes. I got, there's usually a mess one on here. I don't see it. So I'll bring y'all, I'm going to just stack it up. I'm not going to, I'm going to return that one to the bank. I'll bring y'all back in on the next one. The next one is women men killer. We got a die chip covering about 40% of this channel. Starts here and stops it right there. This is about 40, maybe almost 50% of that channel being taken up by that die chip. I've got seven different variations, including a full-fledged die chip in that channel. A little postman damage, and that's all that's on this quarter. That's postman damage right there also. Yeah, and the next one. We have here another homestead quarter, and what you're looking at is a little tiny die chip. I'm going to show you all in a second. I forgot to put a glove. My hands are getting dirty from these quarters. And I got five more rows left to go through. Right there is a little tiny die chip. I'm probably not going to keep this one. Probably going to just send it back to the bank. It's massive, I would. So bring it back in on the next one. So at Water Bay, we found another die chip just like the other one previously right there. Let's finish looking at this coin. It's the only one I see. This is a Philadelphia Minute coin, just so you know what to look for. So I'll bring it back in on the next one. Okay, this is the Alaska Bear without the die chip on it. So this is not the extra claw. The other one came out and filled the this area. This is what a regular Alaska State Quarter looks like out on that claw. This is the side of right coin. What we got here is the Julian George. More or less is a die crack, but this actually runs above the slip down here into the crease where the slip stops at. And I'll put it off to the side for right now. I may or may not keep it. We'll see. I'll bring it back in on the next find. I don't know if this is technically a mint error, but if you look right here, 
designer's initials on the engravers, forgot which. They're almost completely wiped out. Normally, you can find a die chip that could cover a partial of the initials or the whole of all of the initials. But this is where they try to clean the die up, polish it off, and they rubbed out, rubbed down the die to where the initials are not showing up. Or there's grease stuck in there and the metal can't flow up into the into the die to make the initials. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. Now it's the Arizona State Quarter. We go back in on the next one. Okay, this is Block Island National Park. I was checking the wings out, looking for doubling along the edges, and I came across this nice little die chip. So as I start going around, like a hurricane hit the lighthouse. This is heavily damaged. I'm going to keep it from my book. Just because it's a die chip. And it's also got some damage up in here on the word trust. Some other crud. So I'm going to put that one off to the side for a find. Just to compare, here's a Denver one. No die chip. Here's another Arizona. That's what the initials are supposed to look like, the JFM. Just figure I'll show y'all the difference between that and the other one. No die crack up in here. That's what it looks like. Bring y'all in on the next fine. This is a Denver Salt River Bay and First time I've ever seen this on a Denver minimum. We got a little tiny die chip right there. I zoomed in close. I saw something, so I lowered the scope down, focus it up, and there's a die chip. First time I ever found one on a Denver minute. Okay, Block Island, we found the early die stage of the die chip right there. At least to the master one we found a little few minutes ago. I'm just checking the edge of the wings for doubling. You can see it. But I don't see it. This is a Philly Minty coin. We go in on the next find or on the wrap. There's another block island with the die chip. Right there. That one was here. Got one here. And then we got, and we got, the, we got a little tiny one right there. Got a die chip on the feather there. I do believe these are all Philly Minute coins. We got in on the next one. Let's see the Harper's Ferry. No, what is this one? Oh. Gray Smoky Mountains. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I search the rest of these quarters. Okay. I started this hunt right around 6 15 ish. It is now nine o'clock my time. Almost three hours to go through ten rows of quarters. Out of that, we have the EDR one o four, and all of these are die chips. Got the one in the man's hat, extra claw. Right on here on both of these, you got the same die chip on the leaves on Saltwater Bay. That's a state quarter. That's a park quarter. We're a man killer. We got the die chip in the channel and the hair. And these are three different die chips on Block Island. I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed and pushed me over 500. I will figure out some type of giveaway over the next week or two for that. So be look for an announcement for that one. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, please do. It doesn't hurt. Doesn't cost you anything. Turn the bell for future notifications. Have a good evening. I'm ready for supper.